Hello. Today we're going to be talking about how to measure rainfall and the way that rainfall is most commonly measured is simply with a rain gauge. Now this is a, a garden variety rain gauge. This is one you might find in a traditional outdoor store or maybe in your local discount store and it's measuring the amount of rain that falls within the gauge. The rain falls in and then simply as it falls in it will accumulate in the gauge and wherever it stops after the rain is over, that's how much rain you've had. And for instance, if we've had uh, three inches of rain, you would see all the way up to here, the water would be filled and you just look at the gauge and say, okay, we had three inches of rainfall. Now, if you're going to place a rain gauge out in your yard to measure your own rainfall, you want to make sure of a couple of things. Number one, you do not want it to be underneath a tree or too close to the house that could affect the rain falling into the rain gauge. So you want to make sure that it's out pretty much in the open. If you have a yard, put it out in the middle of the yard, away from the trees, away from anything that would uh, block any of the rain from falling into it because that could affect the accuracy of the gauge. But generally, generally this is the way most of the readings are taken with the rain gauge. There are other types of rain gauges. One is called an acoustic rain gauge in which you have a membrane in a circle and what happens is as the rain strikes the membrane, that electronically sends signals to a computer. The computer reads and estimates, all right, if I have this much vibration from rainfall, then it will estimate how much rainfall has actually occurred and how many drops of rain have hit that membrane. So there are a couple of different types of rain gauges, but by far this is the most common type.